This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Stephen Luke. Let's get right into your top local stories. In National City, police are on the lookout for two suspects that attacked and kidnapped a 76-year-old woman. This was Monday night. They say two men confronted the victim at gunpoint inside the International Church of Praise, and after pistol whipping her, they forced her into her own car, demanded she drive them to her home for reasons still unknown. She then drove them back to National City, and once the suspects got out of the car, the woman was able to escape on foot, fleeing to a nearby laundromat, crying for help. She came up walking. She seemed very upset, and she was beaten in her face. Uh, and then she was not wearing any shoes. Her chin area, the, it was very swollen and bruised. And then she kept holding her uh, abdomen like she was in a lot of pain. Police only able to get a partial description of the suspects, but they're looking for them right now. In the East County today, there is a one-stop shop for homeless individuals trying to get help. NBC 7's Nicole Gomez talked to a man who wants to get off the streets and turn his life around. Well, that's right. He was here today to get his ID, taking the first steps in getting housing. He also said he's battling alcoholism and needs resources. I got to go get help for that because I want to quit. I, I want to see my next birthday. It's about time because I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like they say, it AA means you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's time. Richard Johnson is 58 years old and he says he's been living on the streets on and off since he was 18. He told me the cold weather and upcoming rainy season are motivators to get him into housing, but he couldn't get anywhere without an ID. Enter the homeless resource fair here in Lakeside. The DMV was on hand to help him get started. Other resources were available as well. Showers, food, clothing, detox and substance abuse treatment and public assistance such as medical, EBT, CalWORKs and welfare. Another opportunity, the homeless court program where people can clear outstanding warrants for misdemeanor cases, resolve outstanding parking tickets, basically removing any immediate barriers to finding housing. This is the eighth resource fair in the county and every time more people show up. They might be scared to go into a courthouse and by having you know, this collaborative process between the court, the public defender, the DA, the city attorney, to come to them and say, you know what, we're willing to come to you, that really engenders trust and it increases that, that great phrase, access to justice. Well, so far, this is the eighth resource fair, and the county says they hope to continue to do more of these events. Reporting from Lakeside, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. We continue to hear more about fentanyl being a public health crisis, and it is hitting San Diego hard. There have been two mass overdose events that have uh, just been on our radar over the past few weeks alone. And as part of NBC's Seven's newest documentary called Poison Pill, Catherine Garcia is leading this sort of search into what this opioid is all about, the impact on its body, why parents should care. Uh, there's just so many angles to this. She talked to a local doctor as well about why it's so harmful. The most concerning ones as a physician is the fact that the heart rate and the respiratory rate or the breathing rate slows. And when the breathing rate gets low enough, we're no longer able to oxygenate our vital organs, including the brain. And so that's really what's happening during a fatal overdose. In the documentary, you'll also hear from the DA's office, the DEA and Customs and Border Patrol. You can watch Poison Pill starting this Sunday on NBC7.com. As you see here, you can also stream it on Roku Channel 134 or Samsung TV 1035. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen now with a closer look at your first alert forecast. Hey Stephen, well after a cool day yesterday, today is going to be a little bit milder this afternoon. Still keeping the clouds around though, mid 60s of the coast, upper 60s inland mountains will be in the mid 50s, deserts near 70. Clouds hang around again tonight and chilly tomorrow morning. Here's your weekend forecast. Temperatures will keep rising by a couple degrees this weekend. At the coast, about the mid to upper 60s Saturday and Sunday, around 70 inland mountains, mid 50s, deserts around 70. And it looks just about partly sunny. I think the rain chance Sunday is going to be quite a bit lower, so maybe a spring. Still ahead, the latest numbers are in showing flu, RSV and COVID cases trending in the wrong direction in San Diego as we head towards the holidays. We'll hear from doctors and what they're saying about it. Cox plans are flexible and it's really quite clever. 
and TV, phone, or home automation whenever. Get Cox Internet for the everyday low price of $49.99. This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hey there, I'm Stephen Luke after Thanksgiving and some really big and busy travel days. Latest flu, RSV and COVID numbers indicate a rising and concerning trends. San Diego County releasing some new numbers yesterday showing almost 13,000 confirmed cases of the flu this season. Now for comparison to the five year average, uh, normally it's 475, so that's a huge jump. There have also been eight flu deaths, which already matches the entire number from last season. COVID also going up, hospitalizations on the rise, especially for unvaccinated people, nearly two times higher than vaccinated San Diegans. And there are multiple different viruses going around. We just have to be careful. It's not just COVID that we have to worry about. I'm actually not going to a lot of social events. Um, I'm also keeping my kids home and not sending them to um, a lot of activities or events or um, places where they could be exposed. Um, and at work, uh, we all wear our mask to protect ourselves. It's everywhere, really. And even like out of the flu season, people are getting sick. You don't know, it could be COVID. I just had like a relative recover from COVID a few months ago. Um, I had another relative that had COVID on Thanksgiving. They were supposed to host the party, so no one on the East Coast was able to have the party and celebrate Thanksgiving. It's really bad. Doctors continuing to push one of the best ways to protect yourself being get vaccinated against the flu and COVID. Big holiday gatherings are certainly on tap this weekend, including the return of December nights uh, kicks off tonight in Balboa Park, just a few hours away. Hundreds of thousands of San Diegans expected to attend this event after it was canceled or modified in the past couple of years because of the pandemic. December nights running today and tomorrow there will be an encore performance by the way of the Christmas story tree Sunday at 515. Another event happening this weekend. It's the holiday market over at uh, Petco Park. There's going to be local food, beverages and artisan vendors, plus Christmas displays and a 30 foot Christmas tree for pictures and the kids. They'll be able to get their picture taken with Santa. Organizers say the theme for this year's third annual event. Go bigger and better. When we created this event, we wanted to have something for everyone. So this event is really good, whether you're looking for a date night or bringing your whole family out. It brings an extra level of added joy, bliss, and merriment uh, that really you don't find in a lot of other cities. And that's quite the hat. The holiday market running from now until December 23rd in Gallagher Square at Petco Park. The event is free, but you do still need a ticket to attend. Coming up, meteorologist Sheena Parveen with a closer look at your first alert forecast right after this. Cox offers a range of high-speed internet plans that fit any budget. Get Cox Internet for $19.99 a month through the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. See if you qualify at cox.com slash ACP. Hi there, I'm ABC 7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today, a little bit milder this afternoon, mid-60s at the coast, upper 60s to mid-60s inland, and we'll keep the clouds around, but we will stay dry. Mountains will be in the 50s, deserts around 70 degrees. This weekend, temperatures rise a couple degrees more. In La Valley is around 70. The coast around the mid to upper 60s will keep the clouds around, but the weekend does look mostly dry. Next week, though, will be cooler pretty much all week. Mountains, a great week, and deserts, too. I'll be watching a slight early chance next week, too. The San Diego Zoo has a new addition. Here he is, 16-month-old. That's a close-up view right there of this 16-month-old, uh, as I mentioned, giraffe recently arriving at the safari park. So the wildlife care team says his name is Rook, and uh, he's a quote-unquote gentleman settling in well. They say he's developing a strong relationship with his caretakers, and while we don't know exactly how tall he is, these giraffes are normally about six feet tall just at birth. They grow, up, of course, up to 19 feet by four years old. Uh, as always, more coverage on our website, NBC7.com. We'll see you soon.